Make sure to get that neck. Get that thick, meaty neck. I agree. Get the thick, needy mech and touch up. Meaty mech? Needy mech? What did I just say? Hello. I was told that you ordered a kombucha, girl. No. Well, I heard you also ordered one girl with a kombucha. Well, dinner is served, Caleb. Caleb, mom says get out of the tub, quit trying to drown yourself, dinner's ready. And here it is, in the form of skincare reaction videos, specifically, Brittany Broski, AKA Kombucha Girls, Lazy Skincare Beauty Secrets Vogue New York City. And it's an unofficial Vogue, but I don't give a f Hey everyone, I'm in New York City. <laughs> Look at this beautiful bathroom. I'm gonna sh in this toilet later. Look, <laughs> it is. You can hold yourself off with a uh, thing, with a shower head. Oh God, <laughs> well, uh, I'm glad that she flushed before showing us her bathroom toilet tour. Um, fun story, I have a story about a sh in a boudet. It's not about me, it's about someone else, but that is a story for another day. Okay guys, hey! I am currently in New York City! Staying at the St. Regis. I am here for work and I am drunk. Okay guys, what's going on here do you think? Just got dinner and drinks with, you know I'm you love him, Stanley. Let's make, let's hear some noise in the chat for Stanley. Boo! We talk Just got dinner and drinks with Stanley um, in New York for work, came back, I'm drunk. Um, I love that she's honest. I have no clue who Stanley is, but maybe he lives in apartment 201? Yeah, things have never been better for me. Uh, apartment 201, the lady's a baker. She loves to leave the cakes out at night. Love that she's being honest about uh, how she is joining us this evening, but I do wonder when people get schmammer hammered, if they do their skincare routine differently. Fun fact, I've never been drunk because I've never officially had alcohol, except for that one time that I was eight years old and I thought that my dad's beer was actually Martinelli's apple cider. That ended up very, very badly. But I wasn't a cool kid. I was the reject kid, <laughs> so I was never invited to the parties, and so therefore I never got drunk, and then by the time I was legally old enough to drink, we found out that I had one kidney, and even though your kidney doesn't process alcohol, I have some alcoholics in my family, and I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna touch that with a 10-foot pole. So, instead I sit here as a medical esthetician reacting to other people's skincare routines on the internet. <laughs> my life story! Is this what you subscribed for? <laughs> um, I have wanted to do one of those Vogue skincare routines for so long and now I've been waiting until the next time I stay in a fancy hotel. Like we're here and we did it. I'm gonna live my Emma Chamberlain fantasy and I am gonna do my skincare routine in the same region. So let's do it. I literally even packed all my stuff for you guys because I'm a YouTuber. I'm literally a YouTuber. Okay, first step. Get all these out of the way, get the hair out of your eyelash and just do it. And don't look at my roots because you can see the growth in my hair and I don't want to hear a peep from you in the comments. Step one. Oh my God, I can't believe I'm doing this. Take your eye spiders off. Put them on an undisclosed surface. It's hot as in here. It's so hot in New York. Okay. Step one. Oh my God, I'm in vote. Step one, take your jewelry off, you disgusting, nasty girl. You've had a long day, take your jewelry off. I love that she is tying up her hair, that is wonderful. I actually don't remove my jewelry when I do my skincare routine, and now I'm kind of wondering if I should. This is like a $14 Amazon butterfly necklace that I absolutely freaking love. Our beautiful butterflies bought it for me as a little birthday gift, and I wear it all the time, every day. I literally do not take it off. Problem is that on the back, it's gotten a little bit tarnished. And so now, Brittany Broski, you're making me wonder if I should be removing my jewelry and stuff. Wait, but she still has her necklace on. When she said jewelry, was she just meaning earrings? It's my skincare routine. I use the Tatcha cleansing oil. It is incredible. It melts everything off. And this is the travel size. The big size, you squirt it. This one, you just kind of have to gauge how much you need. I also chose to wear black eyeliner tonight, and that's always a bitch to get off. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, a burping sister. <laughs> that was still kind of weak. <laughs> this cleanser will not make me burp, it might make me throw up because they are charging $50 for rice bran oil. This is Tatcha, which by the way is a skincare line that I have been testing. And this cleanser, it's not terrible, but it's literally rice bran oil. When we look at the ingredients, it has a couple of interesting things like Camellia sinensis leaf extract. It does have Camilla japonica seed oil, which I hope I am pronouncing this correctly. But the second ingredient is literally rice bran oil. You can go to Target 
and get rice bran oil for $3. And if you wanna be bougie, you can go to Thrive Market and get it for eight. I love that she can afford this. I love that she loves it for her skin, but this is basically very cheap, inexpensive rice bran oil with a couple of other ingredients and some fragrance in it. And people are paying $50 for it. It does have subtle ethyl hexanoate. This can give it a really silky feel. And I understand that this cleanser is silky, but out of all of the steps in a skincare routine that you could be spending tons of money, save the expensive steps in your routine for the stuff that actually sits on and soaks into your face. A cleanser you just wash off. There are so many great silky cleansers. Uh, the Hamish All Clean Balm is like $11. It's on sale right now at Stylevana. That gives you such a similar feel, uh, but it's way less expensive. It smells just as good, but it's $11, not 50. So you could get literally 4.9 of them for the price that you could get one of the, the Tatcha ones. I'm just, I love that she loves it, but this is a no from me. <laughs> Okay guys, and we're done. Thank you so much for watching. And then basically, you rinse it with water. So I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I'm here for an event that I'm hosting and I have to get my makeup done tomorrow. And I'm just gonna be like, hello, I'm hungover and my skin is dry. And also I have zits everywhere. And yeah, I covered this tonight with, here's my hat, okay? And I am drunk, so if you hear the water, shh. Oh, if you have a pimple or if you have a spot that you really want to cover, put a mole on it. Just put a mole on it. Oh my God, I can't believe that she mentioned this. I literally used to do this all the time. There are these awkward photos of me from like the Facebook MySpace era. I have this acne scar right here that you see all the time. I think some of you named it. But for the longest time, I didn't know if this was a mole or a pimple or an acne scar. And it ended up being an acne scar because I picked the pimple that was there until it turned into a scar. I used to cover this up with eyeliner and turn it into a mole. I cannot believe that this trick is something that Brittany Bresky uses. Can I I just say, I feel so validated. I also wake up feeling hungover uh, just from life. Again, don't drink. Uh, she can drink all of the alcohol for me. I will gladly be the designated driver. But yeah, sometimes I just, I wake up in the morning when my alarm goes off at 5 a.m. and I'm just like, wow, is this what being hungover feels like? Cause I have a pounding headache because I've been detoxing myself from coffee and trying to replace it with matcha and kombucha, which is why we're here. Sometimes this fun thing happens. <laughs> Hate the Vogue tutorials are never realistic. Like, dude, you don't always get the makeup off. Not a breath. You don't always get the makeup off. First round, okay? Sometimes I have to go in twice with this because I wear black eyeliner and it doesn't always come off first try. So I have to go back in and get up in there. Don't be afraid to get up in there. And it's as easy as one, two, three. Okay. That's step one. It's actually as easy as one, two, because it's um, a double cleanse. You start with an oil cleanser and then you go in with something that's a little bit more foaming or a little bit more treatment oriented. But a double cleanse is literally makeup melting magic. If you haven't tried it, I would highly recommend it. This is step two. Again, with Tatcha, this is the rice polish. Calming. Calming? Are you feeling calm? <sighs> This doesn't help that I'm like off the espresso martinis. Yeah, I had an espresso martini. I'm a grown woman. And this is a powder that you activate with water and it has little micro exfoliants and it just feels so good. I shave my face with a little like microderm, micro blade razor just to get the little peach fuzz off so my makeup goes on smoother. That mixed with this, which has like a little micro exfoliant in it, my skin feels so smooth. She's talking about dermaplaning and what I would give to dermaplane her face. Brittany Broski, I would pay Brittany Broski to dermaplane her face and give her a facial. Shut up and take my money. I don't know why, that makes no logical or financial sense, but like I would pay to meet her and yes, I would pay to give her, you know, a nice skincare treatment or multiple skincare treatments. She is talking about this Tatcha rice powder and um, why would we use Tatcha when Dermalogica exists? Dermalogica literally has their daily microfoliant and then they have their new milk foliant, which is wonderful and way more gentle on skin. Both of them are okay for daily exfoliation if you're careful with the way you use them. They are fun, they are foamy. You don't put them in your hand and do this though. It's it's better if you like whip them up in a cup and they get like this egg white floofiness to them and then you like put it on and it's like you're a little Santa because you have like a little beard of skincare cleanser and you rub it all in and you feel like a little kid in a sudsy bathtub. But it's a great sudsy bath for the pores of your face. The prices are almost the same, but you're getting half an ounce more with the Dermalogica and for like a light powder, half an ounce is actually a lot of product. That's a lot of face washies. And this literally isn't an ad. Like I use this shit. Tatcha, if you want to pay me, please 
Don't pay me, dude. I'll be sure to get that neck. Get that thick, meaty neck. I agree. Get the thick, needy mech and Tatcha, meaty mech, needy mech. What did I just say? Get this area and Tatcha pay her money. I'm so glad that she uses and enjoys Tatcha. If she loves it, then continue. But don't feel like you need to spend Tatcha money to get good glowing kombucha kissed skin. Okay, babies? You can do whatever you want. You can spend your money how you want to. But if you're trying to save your money, I want to teach you what to look for so that you know better. I just do that until my heart tells me to stop. Stop. <laughs> My sleeves are soaking wet. God, my skin is so smooth. It's so nice. It's, I don't know how they do it. How do they do it? Tatcha, how do you guys do it? They do it with monocrystalline cellulose, rice powder, and papain, which is basically papaya enzymes. And again, the rice powder from Tatcha is actually not terrible. I do want to try it because I know I talk a lot of smack about it, but you don't have to spend that much money. I love the Dermalogica. I recommend it. There's also one from Wish Trend that's pretty good as well. That's much, much less expensive. You're on like a real beauty budget. The K-Beauty baby will make your face feel like it is baby smooth soft. But the Tatcha, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad she likes it. She does look glowy. She did turn off the sink when she was done washing her face. That's like 10 times better than half of the Vogue people do, okay? Okay. Let's do it. And then you pat to rub. You guys get boogers after you wash your face? Cause I do. If you guys could even just know that like the water has dripped, like this is soaking wet. Do you see that? The water has dripped down and it's like touching my body. So that's like super cool. This is actually a major issue. There is the LA beautyologist. She is brilliant. The Golden RX. She actually creates these wristbands that I've been thinking of buying and they literally prevent you from splashing water all down your arms when you wash your face. Um, should I buy them? Should I try them? They've been on my wish list for like ever. I think I might have to because I am pretty sick and tired of getting my entire floor and my pants all wet every time I try to wash my face when I go to bed at night. When I wake up in the morning, the pain of hygiene. <laughs> okay, that's steps one and two. How are we only on step two? It's been 10 minutes. Okay, so original. if I was at home, right, I ran out of the mini size of this. I used the Tatcha toner that looks like this. Put it in my hand. Stanley, put it in my hand. I use this all over my face. And Okay, next, because my face is dry, I'm gonna put on a little pimple patch on this big goiger on my face. Okay, first off, love the goiger on her face. I didn't understand that. Listen to that drunken word salad soup. I'm, my face is dry, so I'm going to put on a pimple patch. One of these things does not belong, but you know what, Brittany? It's Starface, which is an amazing brand, so we're gonna roll with it. I want pink. These from Starface. I actually, I usually use the SpongeBob ones. They have a SpongeBob line that are SpongeBob and Patrick faces. And I love them. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna go in with my, this is Glow Recipe. I love Glow Recipe products. Um, they've sent me a bunch in PR and I, <laughs> drunk, genuinely use them. This is the Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum. Deep hydration and glow. I do two pumps of this. It smells good, but it smells good in like an, an extract way, not in like an artificial, you know, like added scent way. It'll literally make me break out. I really like this stuff. It doesn't feel greasy, but it definitely feels hydrating. And it makes me feel like I know what I'm doing, even though I don't. I don't wanna hear from you skincare girl. I love her honesty and I love that she uses this. The Glow Recipe Hyaluronic Acid Plum Plump Serum is actually really good. Fun fact, I actually stopped using hyaluronic acid, which I should post a video on. If you wanna talk about like the half-life of these hyaluronic acid molecules, these glycosaminoglycans, your medical esthetician, big sister acne, is here to break down the science for you, but I actually stopped using hyaluronic acid. But this, the plum plump one from Glow Recipe, for people who are afraid of hyaluronic acid or are trepidatious about it, it is so good. Look at me using words like trepidatious. When that's been in my vocabulary, but I haven't used it in like three years. Where did that come from? Anyways, this is also telling me what kind of a skincare user she is. I see that she likes the Tatcha, she likes the Glow Recipe. If I were her personal a medical esthetician or someone doing treatments on her, I would have a feeling that she would enjoy something like the Peach and Lily. She might like something like Ula Henriksen. Again, these are not the least expensive products out there, but they are excellent. And in my opinion, they deliver things that are on par, if not way better than Tatcha. If she would be open to it, 
would slap some ordinary on her face. I would give her some inkyless cleanser. I would literally slap the Haru Haru kombucha toner on her face. This is kombucha girl. And I'm sorry, kombucha girl needs to replace her Tatcha toner with the K-Beauty kombucha toner. If you know, then you know. And if you don't, then you probably haven't subscribed or ever checked the description box for all of the fun memes and links. And um, those are waiting there for you. Put your damn seatbelt on. Now, I don't want to hear from you skincare girls about don't put it on like that. Don't do that. Mind your business. This is my face. You don't have to look at it. What do you do? But you don't have to touch it. Unless I was her personal medical esthetician, which yes, I would love to be. And it's true. This is her face. It's none of my f***ing business. But if you or any of the beautiful butterflies are watching what she or other celebrities do and are trying to spend lots and lots of money on very expensive things, or God forbid you are pulling a Kourtney Kardashian and you are wiping a derma roller across a filthy towel before applying it to your face and potentially causing infection and irritation to the skin, or if you are pulling a Gwyneth Paltrow goop and just inviting skin cancer on to your face. You damn right I'm gonna talk about it and suggest some other things that you could do instead because here we like to be skin intellectuals. But it is true, she can do whatever the f she wants with her face because again, you don't have to look at it except for the fact that you're f looking at it and um, you don't have to touch it again unless I am invited because I would literally pay to touch her face. I love her face. And Brittany, if I ever watches this, let me touch your face. Do not take that out of context. Let me understand. Let me explain. <laughs> Next, you better know. It's pleasing. Can you see the logo? It's pleasing. This is the overnight, what is this called? It's the acid drops. Loose. Is this the Harry Styles pleasing? Is that what she just pulled out? Did that brand die? Is she actually using it? I think this is the first person that I've ever seen who actually uses the Harry Styles stuff. Wow. Called. It's the acid drops lucid overnight serum. You're only supposed to use this like once or twice a week, which I do because I don't want to about my face more than it already is. It doesn't really smell like anything, which I like. It feels, it just feels good. It feels like, I add this to my routine. Hey, I'm drunk. I add this to my routine because number one, it feels good. I feel like I'm doing good for my skin and I, it obviously has so many benefits, but it's also hairy and I just like, <laughs> the him? So I do it for him. Cause Harry would want me to take care of myself. Cause he's gonna be so mad at you and he's gonna break into your house and threaten you with a weapon if you don't take care of yourself. I bring this down to my thick meaty neck. Guys, please don't neglect the thick meaty neck. See, that's done. I literally think this is one of the first people that I've actually seen that uses the Harry Styles skincare and I didn't even know that they launched acid drops. Fun fact, apparently Jeffree Star also launched like wedding skincare and it's like green, Shrek Ogre Snot wedding skincare vitamin C. It is so complex. There are so many skincare launches right now that are just making my brain explode because they don't make sense. This one from Harry Styles is $63. It's on sale from 70. This is the pleasing acid drops. When you put those together, pleasing acid, that just doesn't sound the way that I think it, that just doesn't sound, it's sounding it sound funny, okay? <laughs> when we look at the ingredients, this has malic acid, which we love. We have aloe. Uh, we have upcycled hibiscus acid. Very interesting. I didn't even know it was a natural source of AHAs. That's what they're saying here. And hibiscus, that could have a lot of antioxidants in there. Camellia, which we know is great. Salicylic acid, wonderful. Lemon, what the f Papaya, does it even skin tone? I mean, it's it's an enzyme exfoliant. It breaks apart the desmosomes in the skin and helps to exfoliate, but does it really even the skin tone? I don't know, Harry. Those are some bold claims. This is interesting. What was I doing? Oh, next, I use um, Charlotte Tilbury. Look at how worn this is. Charlotte Tilbury. Matt, Matt, but, oh, it's the magic cream, Charlotte Silver or something. And there's diamonds in the lid, <laughs> rich and luxurious. This is rich and luxurious, and you basically have to be rich and luxurious to buy this. I didn't know that they have a diamond top version. The version that I have is not that bougie. I don't have the diamond tops, please hold. <laughs> Want a break from the ads? See, I got this one, and this one makes me feel bougie, and it reflects light and makes pretty stuff, but like, <sighs> I want the diamond top version. Is that like limited edition or something? I want that hotline bling. This is one of those luxury products that again, you do not need. You do not need any luxury product, but is it good? Is it fluffy? Yeah. Is it magic? 
No, it's science and cosmetic chemistry, duh. But they just call it the magic cream. Charlotte Tilbury is one of the world's most sought after makeup artists. And she literally has done makeup for celebrities. And when she does their makeup, they don't even tell her what to do. They're just like, do whatever you want, I trust you. And when she was at fashion shows, she looked at the models and she was like, you've got some questionable skin. So she started whipping up this magic cream, this cream that she would put on for models before they actually walked down the runway. And because it worked so well as makeup prep, people started to want to buy it. And she ended up starting selling it. I think it was in 2003 or 2013. It was one of those that started with a three. And I know this because I did a little partnership with them on the Tiki Talkie. But even before that, I had one of their Victoria's Secret makeup artists. His name was Beck Morgan. He's also fucking amazing, super talented. Uh, but he did my makeup with Charlotte Tilbury and like did my skin. I think it was 2018 or 2019. And um, I have had this on my shelf or on my face since. I, I actually do love this. Is it good for those with sensitive skin? Is it gonna cure acne and rosacea? No. Is it gonna get you unhammer schmammered? No. But is it really beautiful and does it feel really good when you're drunk? I don't know, because I've never been drunk and used it. But apparently she has, and Brittany Broski is saying it's a ghost ski. So if it's a ghost ski, I mean, yeah, go for it. I love this stuff. This is my go-to moisturizer. It's expensive, but luckily I don't, I don't go through it that fast. So it's good. It's not greasy. I'm very weird about textures. Like I'm very weird about textures. Some lotions are like, they feel too dry. It's like I don't have lotion on. Some are too greasy where it's like I touch my face. I'm like, ugh, it's like on my hands. This is like somewhere in between where it melts into the skin. It feels like I have lotion on, which I like that feeling because if my skin is too dry, it drives me insane. The smell is, it smells like skincare and I, I, I just love it. It's my go-to. I'll sometimes put it under makeup, but usually I just, I put sunscreen on as my base under makeup, but this stuff is really good. Ew. I just had cringe for me being like serious for a minute. Me being like, I really like this product and I actually personally endorse it. Cringe, cringe. At least she's honest. I as well have to admit, I want to hate this product. I really want to hate it because it is so expensive. But you know what? It's expensive, but it is good. Now, I, I still stand by the fact, based on what she's explaining about her dry skin that's a little acne prone, I think she would love this if she wants something a little less expensive. Maybe this is better for the winter. Maybe this is something lightweight for her hot, humid New York days when she's out there working and twerking in New York. This one is the Strength Trainer from Ula Henriksen. I'm in love with this. It has vegan peptides. It smells even better. Um, and it has less fragrance. I think it's under like 1%. Whereas the Charlotte Tilbury, they, they go heavy on the fragrance because they're like a luxury line. Whereas this actually strength trains your skin barrier to be a little bit more robust. Last step is this Laura Mercier eye cream. My eyes burning. Make sure to apply this with Cheeto fingers. And I just do a little tap, 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 tap. Um, supposedly this is supposed to help with like premature anti-aging. I don't know, dude. It just feels good. Premature anti-aging, anti schmaging anti You need to know what you want out of your eye creams. We have spoken about how eye creams are overpriced moisturizers and this one absolutely is, but she has explained to us why she's using it because she likes the feel. Now she mentioned premature anti-aging. I think that is a drunk sentence because I don't know what the f that means. But when you are looking for eye creams that are going to anti-age or face creams that are going to anti-age that you can use around the eye area, you're probably looking at fine lines and wrinkles. And that means why are you focusing on caffeine? Why are you focusing on vitamin C and brightening ingredients? You should be focusing on collagen stimulating ingredients like retinoids or vitamin C for the collagen stimulation or peptides for a little bit of plumping. That is what you should focus on because remember, under eye puffiness is very different than under eye purple color color, which is very different than wrinkles. Those are three separate things that need three different treatments, but these brands will sell you, oh, you just need our one eye cream. No, get an eye cream that actually works for you or literally get a face product or a prescription product that works under the eye area and does just as much, if not more, and you get a bigger bottle for the price and you save your money. I love that Brittany likes the way it feels. Sounds like she's using it for the sensorial experience, but when we actually look at it, it's $65. <laughs> and the ingredients are so basic. They are what you would find in a moisturizer. We have different sea butters, we have butylene glycol, we have Saccharomyces and Ilium. So again, probiotic, great fun, probiotic just like your kombucha. We have jojoba seed oil, we have watermelon, we have mango, we have a whole bunch of stuff in here like rosemary, different fragrances and perfumes. Actually, a lot of this could irritate the eye area if you're not careful. Based on the other thing in Brittany Broski's routine, if she needed eye cream recommendations that don't 
fucking suck. I would have said the Glow Recipe Avocado eye cream, but I think that they discontinued that, but that actually has retinol, so it'll actually work. But actually, if she's open to the K-Beauty, which it looks like she is, the fucking beauty of Josen eye cream. This is brand new. This is retinol. Not retinol with an O, but retin A with an L. It's the most potent form of retinoid that you can get over the counter without a prescription. This thing is bomb. This is the Revive Eye Serum. This has ginseng. It's not just a serum either. It's like you can actually use it like on your smile lines, your marionette lines. You could use it on the little forehead wrinkles. That's what I've been personally doing. Holy f is this good, but I don't like it as an eye cream. I like it all over my f***ing face. This is what I would recommend to her. If she wanted something that's like really brightening for the day, I would actually recommend the Ula Henriksen Banana Eye Cream. I hate that one. It's basically makeup in an eye cream and it's disguising it as an eye cream and they're like, it's brightening. It's like, no, there's f***ing mica in it. Same with the good molecules, the Yerba Mate one. They're like, it's brightening. Yes, because it's got mica and glitter in it. If I rub glitter on my face and dance around like a f***ing My Little Pony meta clown and had a baby, then yeah, I'd be glittery too. What the f*** is this conversation? I'm not even drunk. Are you sure about that? I'm just saying, those are the eye creams I'd recommend to her. If she actually had eye issues, I would recommend the Biosense eye cream. Dr. Maneeb Shah of Doctorally got me hooked on that one. It is expensive, but it is worth every penny because it has algae in it. That's a f***ing good eye cream that I use all over my face. But for all of the eye creams, put them on your smile lines. Put them on the little forehead lines up here. And if you really want to be budget friendly, get yourself an entire targeted f***ing face cream and just put that around the eye area. Saved you like $50. There you go. So much of skincare is just like, does it make you feel good? Do it. There's something so therapeutic about this process. I don't know. Some of it definitely like has to work, but some of these like, I saw this TikTok one time that was like, you can do all the skincare you want with these lotions and potions and creams and dreams and whatever. But like these celebrities, they get facials to look like that. They get facials, they get injections, like they get the microderm roller whatever like that is not just JLo's skincare line that makes her look like that no dude they get professional procedures done please don't forget that so much of this it's fun it's hydrating it's whatever but like you're not gonna look like that at 50. they call alcohol truth juice this is a testimony that that is f correct she is brutally honest even when she's not drunk but holy sh is she right jennifer lopez literally just launched like an olive oil body cream jennifer lopez your butt doesn't look like that because of olive oil do you think that we're dumb don't answer that but <laughs> but not that kind of butt stop it but a lot of these celebrities have so much access to so many things that they don't disclose and i do think that if they are pushing products to us and not disclosing that you know we don't have a right to their medical history but at the same time like i do feel that it is a little bit questionable a little bit shady we actually did a youtube short about that and if you would like to go comment your thoughts on whether or not celebrities should have to disclose their products or procedures if they're promoting skincare lines that did not give them the results of what their faces look like i'd love to know your opinion same with the body stuff i'm very curious putting that in the description as well as the eye creams that i actually recommend for different skin types and different eye concerns and needs so all that can be found and i would love it if we start that conversation this skincare Skincare routine has been looking a little chaotic recently, but if this is her skincare routine drunk, holy sh this is an excellent drunk skincare routine. The application, she got the products in order, she didn't consume them. I mean, I haven't seen a lot of drunk skincare routines, but if anybody wants to send me their drunk skincare routine to react to, I totally would. But if this is her skincare routine drunk, I am fully f***ing impressed. There are things that I would switch up a little bit. Specifically, if I had the opportunity to put my hands on her face, don't take that out of context, I would give her and offer her some other little goodies that I think that she would love and absolutely enjoy. But there are also things that I would absolutely keep in her routine, such as the star face. I basically just really want to give Britney a facial with all of the products that I love that I think she will love too. This is a fangirl moment. Like, I don't get all swoony over, I don't know, who are the celebrities that people get swoony over? I don't know, Angelina Jolie, Pamela Anderson. Is that who the people are loving these days? I don't know, but you give me kombucha girl? You give me Dr. Dre? You give me Lily Singh? Oh, I am a simp. And if that doesn't say enough about me, then I don't know what else will. <laughs> Remember to stay hydrated, both orally and topically. Burp unapologetically. Make sure that you do reapply your SPF if you are going out during the daytime. I need to know what SPF she uses. Does anybody know what SPF she uses? I need to find out why I sound drunk and hyper when it is literally 10.52 at night. And um, I haven't even had caffeine because I'm, does this have caffeine? 
This has black tea and green tea. This explains everything. 